Hey folks, this is Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com and before I actually begin this review, uh, I would like to thank all of the subscribers. We have just passed the 400 mark and we, we really appreciate you guys' support. So please continue spreading the word and uh, we can get more stuff for you guys. Alright, so let's start. Today we have Eagle's Blood Bill 3, AOSP of course, and first thing uh, straight off the bat, the carrier name has been moved up so the camera doesn't overlay the wind home so that has been fixed and let's move on to the actual device now this has uh, there's been a bunch of framework changes and system changes and the developers really stress upon doing a full flash full wipe for this uh, version um, it is recommended that you go into clockworks mod do the factory reset and when you go to install from SD card, it will pull off the new redesigned Aroma installer. So this is like version 2.0, has new settings and the new theme and Eagle's Blood kind of look theme it has. And uh, even though there's an option that says wipe data, it wouldn't wipe the complete um, factory reset style. So please go into uh, CWM, wipe using uh, the, the power buttons and volume, whatever you need to do. So volume up and down, go to factory reset wipe it that way then go to install from SD card run aroma and then um, do the normal full install and you will be able to use this ROM perfectly fine this there's a new kernel in this version as well so the version is 2.6.59 it is a mix of Fox harsh and CSM's own work so it's a really nicely compressed uh, kernel that gives you a bunch of options so same like last time we do have the IO options and the processor right here so you can uh, overclock, underclock, under vault, whatever you need to do over there and um, we have also added the battery drivers so this version allows you to change the um, Cyanogen mod drivers um, to I mean the, the, the um, battery driver from Cyanogen mod and the DS version so if you go to battery right here hit the menu key and go to here you can choose which driver you want and you can save it to have it on boot as well um, I tr I'm trying DS right now um, I noticed for me that CM does give you the extra 30 40 minutes but it jumps too much for me it would jump from like 50 to 60 and then it goes down to like 25 and then it goes back up so I thought that was a bit too much for me I just wanted to get a solid reading at all times and that has been uh, they have been giving you the, these two options to play around with Try them both out, see which one uh, suits your fancy. Next, we have a file system check enabled in the RAM disk, so it will check uh, your EXT um, 2, 3, 4, and um, check the partitions on the boot. The new boot animation, uh, like it looks really great. Box has done an amazing job um, on this boot animation, and uh, I can't wait to see what will happen in the future for some more uh, boot animations and wallpapers. Next, we have overall smoothness you can see like no glitching so far um, even widgets I mean I have so many widgets that it, of course it will glitch but once it loads into memory it goes really fast as you can see right here now there is a, a bug with the T-Mobile theme engine it, it didn't make it on this release because it kept on crashing and causing boot loops for some unknown reason so they're currently working on that and trying to bring this back within build 4 Overall as well, there's been some minor fixes and tweaks. So it's a really solid release, uh, big framework changes. So please, again, do a full wipe for this. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you liked the video. Please comment and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We also have a Facebook page, a Google Plus account, and a Twitter. Please add us there. Thanks.